Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Uploaded Unfiltered, the podcast in which I, your host, Jermaine, interviews another content creator in regards to their journey thus far. Tonight, as always, I have a special guest. I'm going to go ahead and read her bio, introduce her, and get her started on this conversation. The Wiz Gamma is an elementary school teacher by day and a streamer slash gamer by night. She enjoys entertaining and creating events for people to enjoy. Alongside gaming, she is focusing on her art and will open her Gamma's Goods business very soon. Gamma is a straight shooter who rarely beats around the bush, but does so always out of love. And with that, I'd like to introduce my guest for the evening, the one, the only, Gamma! I'm doing well. How are you? I am doing great. I want to say this, y'all don't know, but it's early recording for me. I like this. I'm going to start making people do this time more often. This is great. <laughs> it's a great time. Like, no one's sleepy, but um, also right? I had time to recover from the work day, so it's like... Gotcha. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't even tell you were at work, so that's awesome. Yeah. well Wiz we're gonna go ahead and start this podcast like I always do by asking you what is the origin story of your content creation journey so far how did you start okay so if we're gonna start at the beginning we have to go way back okay so before I was even gaming I was trying to break into the beauty industry (laughs) okay So I was originally Shaw the Wiz, right? And that was my beauty makeup page. It's actually still up. I never deleted it. And I made YouTube videos about beauty and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then realized really quickly that I knew nothing about beauty and I didn't really care about it. (laughs) (laughs) And I was dead winging it as I went. But like, it wasn't even that. Like doing makeup was fun. I think what took me out of it was everybody else in that, industry space Mm -hmm. god they were just so i don't even know how to describe it they were just like so superficial and it was way more like follow for follow and i'll only promote you if you promote me and it gotcha didn't feel like i was making any genuine connections and it just didn't feel fun yeah that makes sense yeah Mm -hmm. but like after that Mm -hmm. i was like what do i actually like and i was just like why i love games like I actually love gaming and I never tap into that. So I was like, you know what? I'm kind of funny. Maybe I'm not the funniest person in the world, but (laughs) I'm kind of funny. I was like, maybe I'll do gaming content and focus it not on me being the best at anything, not on me, like, you know, being technical or finding achievements. It's just going to be entertaining. I'm just gonna be yelling, right? You know, like Dashy. Oh my God, Dashy. <laughs> yes, I feel Dashy. Like Dashy. Yes, and Corey uh, Kenshin for that matter. Yes, both of them. They're gonna yes. be on the show. I'm saying it now. Oh, One absolutely. And if you don't have God them on damn. the show, it's a crime. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna happen. God damn. <laughs> but yeah, okay. I understand the. Uh, I understand the the background now. Dashy mm-hmm. is a loud motherfucker, like. But he's hilarious. Hilarious. I watched him and I would be like, oh my God. Like, I was like, I really love his energy. And I love that he didn't have to be especially good at anything. It was just like his commentary and how he reacted. Yes. So I was like, I could do that. Like, people say that I'm like funny sometimes. And even if you don't think I'm funny, not everybody finds Dash you funny. Exactly. Okay. You know? Right. So that's how I started. Yeah, that is awesome. That I didn't know about the beauty. Like I'm always learning new things about my streamer <laughs> friends. This podcast is only for me. I, I'm super mm. like I'm gonna ask you now. Now I'm gonna ask you where did the <laughs> new name come from? Like so you were what was it? Sway Shaw the Wiz. Shaw the Wiz. I'm looking that up later. Shaw the Wiz. <laughs> <Got it. laughs> so you what? How'd like you get, right. I'll be like, wow, you really <laughs> said fuck this shit. Real quick. Right. Mm, and <laughs> yeah. So the Wiz Gamma, where did I I kinda I kinda guess, but go ahead. So Wiz was always like part of my name since high school. That's why I was like Shaw the Wiz and I went to Wiz Gamma because I was always the Wiz. I don't know why they call me Wiz. I wasn't smart. <laughs> like I don't know the, I don't know where Wiz came from. Right. But that was my hi- nickname in high school. And even on my like um senior sweater. Uh, it says like wizard 3.0. Like, I don't know. Okay. It, it me, just so, stuck. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I like Wiz. So, I, and you know, my first name starts with a S H A. So I was Shaw the Wiz. And I thought gotcha. I could be a wizard in makeup. And then when I went into gaming, I was like, okay, what's a cool name I could call myself? And then 
I was like, I'm gonna keep the whiz because I don't know why. That just it's just sentimental to me. Uh, yeah, keep, keep it. it. Yeah. But then I was gonna put the whiz gamer, and I was like, ew, that sounds <laughs> <laughs> like Yo, ew. You, ew. You know, I agree. I agree. <laughs> right? Doesn't that sound like you're trying hella hard? Like the whiz it's gamer. Too much. Yeah. Right. It's like, all right, we get it. Damn. Right. It's like, oh, you're you're whiz at gaming. What a shock, right? But. <laughs> But like, I was like, I'm not a whiz at gaming. So like, I need to change this up. And at this time, that's when I started becoming a science teacher and I really was into Ooh, science. Okay. So I was like, instead of gamer, what if I said gamma, like gamma rays? You yeah. Know I mean? So I put it all together and it became the whiz gamma, which is. That is, that's dope. <laughs> that is dope. I like that. I didn't know Thank the you. gamma is science inspired, but it's, it's yeah. even better. I like right? that. Man. That's my shit. Yeah, see, I'm a scientist. I had to represent. I don't oh, know. Yeah. I really wanted my name to represent me. Like the whiz came from like high school days, and mm -hmm. yeah, I wanted it to be like science based, and mm -hmm. I don't know. I just wanted it to feel like authentically me. Right. You, know? you nailed it. Like, good job. Most people struggle with their names. You you knocked that out the park. <laughs> Thank you for I appreciate you, and I yeah. love that people call me like whiz, or some people call me gamma. It's just nice. Like it's to break it down, you know. I uh on my podcast uh survey that I sent out to all my guests, I asked them what they want to be called. And you was like, you can call me Wiz, you can call me Gamma. I don't care. And I was like, all right, <laughs> right, because it don't matter either way. It's all part of yeah. me. So it's like, he's like, you know what it is. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Now that we got your origin of your name out the way, your origin of your content creation journey, how is the current mindset um in regards to what you're producing now, what you want to do going forward? What, what's that look like for you? It's like, gosh, it's difficult to answer that question because what I really want, like if I could have my content in a perfect world, how I want it, it would all be group based like games in which I like do a bunch of like game shows and have people come and like, you know, do their thing and they can win prizes and stuff. I really enjoy content like that because yes. Like, you know, mini competition shows, like I've mm -hmm. done so many of them so far by myself and with like crew. Like we did this, I did the circle with crew and that was yeah. based on the Netflix circle. That was really, really fun. <sighs> yeah. That was too fun. <laughs> right. Also, it's your fault that I'm addicted to that show. So. Ah, really? Because yeah, you watched I, it? Me and my, so I was, I was on the first season. I'm going to go ahead and toot my own horn. And I didn't know what the circle was. And I was like, uh, let me look this up. So me and my wife watched the first, at, first the season, and then we just mm -hmm. binge watched the rest of it because it's so it's too good. It's oh, too good. Good. It's a good show. I'm so glad. And yes, I'm glad you shouted yourself out for being on Circle. Come on. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, um, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so glad. And we got to do another one. I got to ask Crew. Yes. She, she, you know, you already know Crew is like a creative mind. She has her own mm -hmm. like bevy of shows going on. Yeah. So sometimes we can connect on that. Sometimes we can't. But like. I, you know, personally, what I did was um, Squid Games. Squid Games. Oh, yeah. Really, really rem fun. That's ridiculous. How, how, what? <laughs> <laughs> what did the planning look like for setting that all up? It's crazy. Literally, I have a Google uh, like drive folder just dedicated to Squid Game games. Like, okay. and because Squid Games is based off like childhood games, I really right. start there. Okay. And it's just like, hey, if uh, if it's a childhood game in which I can make it like competitive, like or that you have to be the fastest or you have yeah. to be the smartest or you have to be, you know, whatever. Right. That's how that planning looks. And so I literally mm. have a doc to show you later. Yeah. It's, a, it's just a document of different things. And and it's always really fun because it challenges me to create like new games every season. Yeah. Um, if I'm like full disclosure, I plan on doing a Squid Games three um this summer. Hell and, yeah! Right, and you okay. you you know you invited. That's not even. Thank you. <laughs> Exclude. This is the only way I'm gonna do Squid Squid Games. I'm not doing the real. I'm doing right. this. Yeah. Never the real one, I'm, and not even the Netflix one. I'm sorry, they Yo. look so miserable. Mm -hmm. no, I, can't I, do it. I I watched that too, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. No, thank I you. No, thank you. I'm not doing that. Like, we'll do our little cute little situation on Twitch and call it a day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but yeah, like that that planning is really, really fun. And like, um, it, yeah, it, like I said, it challenges me to like be more creative every single time, up the stakes, up the ante. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right. So like, yeah, I, I did that. You know, I do my panels. I do what gamers mm -hmm. think. 
that I love because it's just, it, it's so simple to like create a list of topics throughout the right. week. If I see something interesting, I'm like, oh, noted, because that's going to be on the panel. <laughs> yes. It's, you know what I mean? And it's really, it's really fun. But like, um, it, it's interesting to hear my friends' like ideas about things and see what they agree on or whatnot, because we don't mm -hmm. all agree, actually. Exactly. Things. And it's yeah. rare that we get in a, a, a forum like that and actually talk to each other about different yeah. topics. It's mm -hmm. usually how did your day go or complaining about some other bullshit. But having a topic for everybody to talk about, like, that's huge. Right. I love that. Yeah. And then and I feel like some for some people, that's probably the only time they really talk about like issues because I bring up small issues like within the gaming community and stuff. But then like right. huge things like we talk about, like we literally just talked about um, what was it like Michael Jackson and Drake? You know how Drake was one away from Michael Jackson as far as. Yeah. Hit? Yeah. And people are trying to be like is Drake comparable to NJ? Yeah. And that was like a, that was a I can't, human debate. <laughs> did you, is there a VOD for that? Because I didn't see that one. Ooh, oh my gosh, I wish it was. I need to start saving my VODs. Unfortunately, I did not oh save that one. Oh my goodness, because that sounds Ooh. like some gold. <laughs> when I tell you, they were just, like, they Listen, were going back and forth. There's only one right, I'm not even going to do this. I'm not even going to. Mm -hmm. Say just, it. It's just one right answer. Like, no, no. Say what? with your whole chest. You right. cannot, like, I don't give a fuck how many. I don't I care. care. I don't care. It's not. You know what I you mean? You sell 100, and I don't give a 100 more than my. Nah. Thank you. Thank you. That's a whole, you can't do that. Anyways, that, I glad I didn't see that, because I would have had it. Oh. You would have, I had, I had, and, and you know me, I'm the host, so I got to try to keep calm. Yeah. But that was the situation where I was like, Nah, we're not doing this. Like, we're not. We're not. We are not we are not those people. Sorry. Right. I, we, we will put respect on MJ's name. Exactly. We we're not doing this for clout. Like, this is mm -hmm. live. This, come on now. Stop playing. Right. Oh, God. It was silly. like, a, right. It, ridiculous, actually. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's always stuff like that we get to talk about. The panels are really, really fun. And sometimes they get a little heavy, you know, talking mm -hmm. about, like, you know, even heavier topics. And, I don't know. It's it's a really good time to talk about different things and not mm -hmm. harbor any resentment of, for anybody because of their opinion, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's that's the goal there. Um, let's see. What else? Of course, I do my regular gaming where I'm right. just the fool. I'm just I, I call I say that I have crackhead energy all the time when I'm playing. Yep. Oh, my Call of Duty. <laughs> like, <laughs> I do not understand. I'm like, you was talking. Oh, it's just. Like you do <laughs> shit that I would never. I'm like, I'll be in a party. I'm hanging out. Like, let somebody say some dumb shit to you in the game. <laughs> right. It's over. It's over. I like purposely want to make people mad. It's actually like ridiculous how I will change my voice. I'll be a child. I'll be me. I'll be. I'll be Skyler, which is a surfer white dude. My like, I have so <laughs> many different personas that is actually stupid. But like, I want to get reactions out of people. And yes. Sometimes the reactions are hilarious. Exactly. Hilarious. I've been watching this, and I don't know if you don't cut cut up your clips. I've been watching this one dude. He all he does is voices. Um, he changes his voice so he sounds like a kid. Mm. And he just goes off. And plus, he's good. So, like, he's talking mad shit, but he's like winning. And I'm like, why am I so enthralled with this? This is so dumb. But it works and it's hilarious. So, yeah, keep that, keep that up. I need to, and that's something I need to work with as far as my content is like getting clips and like putting them out there. Here's, mm -hmm. I'm so good with like starting the stream. I'm so good with the personas and I'm so good with like, you know, say things to get people mad and riling them up. <laughs> but as soon as I turn it off and I get the clips and I put them in an editor, I'm just like, how do I, how do I make this entertainment? Will anybody find this entertainment? It was funny in the moment. Gotcha. You know what I mean? But I what would be you. funny, like out of content in a clip? And like, how do I edit the clip? How do they do the little shit? Like, I always second guess myself and make it way more intense in my Don't head. We, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not doing it which is gotcha. my problem, honestly. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, now we know, so mm -hmm. you knock that shit out. No. <laughs> right. No, you're right. Like, it honestly needs to be, like, even if it's not perfect, this this little perfectionist in me keeps trying yes. to get out. Yeah. yeah. Even if it's not perfect, I just need to just, like, say, fuck it, whatever. Like, you know let what? It go. Yes. 
I pro mm -hmm. like I promise you, I'm the same way. I okay, I used to be the same way. Once you put out that one clip that you think is garbage and you see everything that's wrong with it, and even if it doesn't do numbers, you put it out, you wait three days, you're like, oh, I'm not nothing happened. Like it's yeah. out there, people ain't telling me to fuck off, never make content again. Like none of that shit's happening. Right. And then right. that was a like I did that three or four times and I was like, all right, bet. Like Mm -hmm. All that is, you know, you know how when you make content, you watch back your clip, and you're like, oh shit, there's something on my face, or <laughs> my hair is this way, or you can see my gut, like dumb shit like right, that. Right, right. Some of those I just let fly. I was like, you know what? No, putting it up. Let's see what happens. It's like, oh yeah, I'm still alive. Body, we're good. You're not dying. Relax. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. It's just like you. I, it's like you got it. You can't wait for perfection for everything to happen. And I and yeah. I know that. I know that in mm -hmm. my head. But yet when I'm in the middle of it, it's like. I can't fight it, but you're right. right. It, like, I just need to like put it out there, whatever. It's not perfect, whatever. Yeah, you know what I mean? it's gonna be dope. Like, right. man, right. That's, I can't wait to Gamma's <laughs> TikTok blow up. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to get my TikTok together. But yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. dope. So, oh, before we get off of uh, current mindset, you mentioned Gamma's goods at the beginning mm. of, well, not at the beginning, I mentioned it in your bio, but mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Yeah. Do you want, can you speak on that a little bit? What, what exactly is that? So like, I am also like an artist, right? And I definitely have not focused on my art in any of the things that I do. Right. And now I'm kind of tapping back into it. Okay. And I'm starting a business where I sell my art in various forms right now. It's going to be stickers and True. prints. And then later on, it's gonna be like keychains and stuff. Like it's all gonna be very cutesy, very digestible, like things that people can buy from my shop, Gamma's Goods. I got the domain name, so period. Uh, that's a good, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got the domain name and I got the, I have an Instagram account that I have not started promoting yet because I wanted to wait till all the things yeah. that I wanted to sell was like ready to sell. For sure. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the start of Gamma's Goods. And I plan on like finishing everything I need to finish by early February and launch around that time. So All right, bet. Hell yeah. Well, look out yeah. for that. Thank that's going to be dope. Thank you, Frank. Uh, man, people, everybody's just doing, leveling up this year. I love it. <laughs> Trying, because 2023, I'm not going to lie to you, friend. It was not kind to me personally. I hear yeah. you. I hear you. <laughs> it, it was, it kicked my ass in all the right ways. And it's just like, it, and honestly, honestly, I'm going to wait. I'm going I'm to wait to tell, like, tell you everything in detail. Yeah. But I just got to tell you, 2023, like, whooped me completely. Yeah. Like, I was a, like, I was a child and I didn't take out the chicken when my mama, <laughs> when my mama told me to take it out. Mm -hmm, if mm -hmm. you came home and was still in the freezer. Right. And you just looking silly, you're like, oh, mm -hmm. damn, it's going down, I guess. I'm not watching cartoons anymore. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. um, that's hilarious. All right, Gamma, let's get into it. Lessons learned. What lesson have you specifically learned because you started creating content that you either took into real life or you just used throughout your content journey? So what's funny is that like in creating content, it was less I learned about the content, more I learned about people. Uh, wow. Forming relationships online is, is way more difficult than I thought. Yeah. And you think everybody fucks with you. Like for me personally, if I have a good relationship with you, if I've talked to you before in my mind, we fuck with each other. You know what I mean? Right. And I had situations recently. This mm -hmm. is part of my fucked up 2023 where people's real thoughts and feelings about me came out, you know? Okay. Mm -hmm. And it was unexpected. It was like shocking how like people viewed me uh, right. like in an online space. Yeah. And I was like, wow. I, like, and when I, I talked to my friends, like IRL in real life, I was like, do y'all see me like this? And they were like, no, <laughs> like mm. not like that. And so I was like, okay, so maybe my persona, how I'm coming off is being misconstrued right. and like relationships and things that, you know, I thought were strong uh, are actually not. And I mm. didn't realize that until the moment I realized it. <laughs> so, right. it so it was more of, 
not giving people so much access to me because it's online, mm -hmm. but also balancing like, oh, but I, you know, I need people for content, like, especially the content I want to do as far as like game shows and stuff. Right. So it's like a balance of trying to figure out like, how do I continue these relationships without getting like hurt? You know yes. what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and not like feeling like I, I, I care about these people more than they care about me because maybe to them, I'm a pixel on the screen, but to me, you know, I'm like, oh, that's my good friend, blah, 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 blah. Right? They don't feel the same way, which is crazy. Yeah. So that's my biggest takeaway is, is the actual content creators relationship mm -hmm. hard. Right. I feel like you're not the first person to say that on the podcast. I definitely felt that throughout mm. the years of making content and it is a, specific balance of some people see it as work and this is work and we link mm. up to do a stream and once we get off that's it right and it's hard to like i've gotten to the point where like my circle is tight and mm -hmm. even with within the last couple of months like i had to tighten it up because yeah. if you're not in the same like wavelength that i am if, like if you're not pushing towards the same shit i am or if you're discouraging on that route and then i gotta, mm. gotta get the fuck out of here <laughs> Very true. i i agree with that like mm. i don't know i like that is definitely something you can learn like in a business school or if you work in yeah. a corporate job but it is definitely something you learn if you're if you're really into this you learn quick um mm. with content because mm -hmm. we like i i feel like content is part us like part of your content is you pouring yourself out there and putting yourself out there and being vulnerable right. and so you do that when you start making these relationships you're like oh hold up you ain't like that that's crazy mm -hmm. <laughs> it is crazy and me i'm just like i'm such an open book like i wear my heart on my sleeve when i meet people i genuinely like feel like the people that i interact with and stuff are my friends and right. I, I really need to pull back on that like friend word when it comes to certain people because some people are like strictly interacting with you for their own gain yes. um and and i didn't think that was the thing i'm not a big streamer so why the right why somebody talk exactly to for gain? Yeah. but they see where you are versus where they're at and you're a stepping stone exactly you know what i mean and so that's why i was so i i see that and i'm like damn so people might not actually fuck with me but they fuck with my potential and they fuck with who i am as a person and they can see that my personality and how i operate could get me far so therefore they want to be in my social circle and they still want to fuck with me right but like i'm trying to wee out who exactly those types of people are versus like who actually is just like, yo, let's create some content together because we're, you know, we're content creators. You know, exactly. What I mean? and you're cool. <laughs> it's it's hard. by the way, you're you're the you're the friend that's like, hey, let's create some content together because it's cool. And like, yeah, you know what I like, mean? Like, let's well, just pull up, do something real quick. And that's what I I tell everybody I interact with. I'm like, hey. I might not be in your Discord all the time, and I if I'm in your stream, I'm probably lurking. Mm -hmm. But like, if you got an idea and you got me in mind, hit me the fuck up. Like I, right. unless we don't fuck with each other, I'm saying yes. Like right. the right. only way I don't is like if I got something scheduled. But yeah, I'm down to do damn near anything. And luckily, mm -hmm. shout out to my wife. Like she she knows and she's encouraging of that. She's like, oh, you got something to do at eight let me remind you or i'll make sure the room's quiet right and all that stuff so yeah like part of being like doing this is the support system and i can say mine yeah. is top notch <laughs> absolutely i love that for you <laughs> yeah it's a it's been a been a blessing because i can't mm -hmm. i cannot deny that so absolutely but that's that's huge i love that love that lessons learned because again the mm -hmm. more people hear it i think the more they wake up to it like yes. nah, that's not gonna happen in my friends of like but it's like it, it, it could it could but, and that's the thing like people see like my group like the only fans and stuff and they think like oh you guys are so tight and impenetrable and it's like low-key though no <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean if you yeah. knew this group of friends and you was in the midst of everything that's been going on you would know mm -hmm. that we are as fragile as any other group and and, and like, i feel like that's like a lot of groups to get that big that's yes, that yes. just happens it just happens yeah that's wild
Mm-hmm. Exclusive. No, I'm just playing. Yeah, I'm not exclusive. I know, right? I put that shit out there. <laughs> you heard it. <laughs> Let me shut up for you. So I'm crying. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like what? Yeah, nothing, man. I said I what just... I said, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's true. You know, yeah. I was gonna say the one, the quickest way, hardest way, but quickest way to start weeding fe- fools out is having that conversation with them <laughs> and just seeing how they respond. Because my boy and I. Every, I feel like I shout this motherfucker out every podcast. Ba- Basu versus that's my dude, and I know he is our we're aligned like almost perfectly. Like he knows what I'm thinking when I'm pissed or upset. Same vice versa. I know when he's on his bullshit and about to say something that's gonna get us canceled. Mm-hmm. All that, and so when this when we stream, we just click off each other. And like I know I I trust that dude, but mm-hmm. we had that conversation like because. Yeah. We both been through some shit in the past, and I'm like, "Yo, this went down, and I ain't like it, and this is how I feel about it." He tells me his. I'm like, "All right, we ain't doing that shit." <laughs> Back. Right, and 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 it's so beautiful that you could have that conversation because, like, I I put in my bio that like that I'm a straight shooter, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I feel like. I th- or at least I thought that that was always like a great thing that like you're not passive aggressive you're not putting things on the table like you put things out and tell it how you feel right right not everybody actually likes that <laughs> to my <laughs> shock and chagrin people yeah. don't actually love that you are a straight shooter and then you instead of a straight shooter it'll be turned into maybe aggressive maybe mm-hmm. like. You, you know, whatever the case may yeah. be, I'm just not that type of person. Let shit seep and sink and like have an issue with you, but then like secretly not tell you. Yeah, That's weird that. to me. That's weird yes. behavior. <laughs> However, it's also not people also don't like to be confronted or pointed out. I've learned that. Yes. Very yep. Mm-hmm. So it is. It is hard. <laughs> All that to say yeah. that it is so difficult, especially if we talk about other humans, whether they create content or not that dynamic will always be present (laughs) yes agreed yes but you know i'm going to leave this on a sunny pretty note the when Mm. you do find those ones that are dope they like rock with you and you're on the same wavelength then it's it's good it's great Mm -hmm. the content just happens so they are out there dope i like your lessons learned i'm gonna go ahead and move to the next next section Uh, this is the words of advice who not who if you can give advice to anyone who would it be? Would it be a new content creator or somebody that's been doing it for a while? And what would you tell that person? Mm, if it was like a new person, I think advice I would give them is to really do this because you like to do it and not because you're trying to be a financial goal or not because you try, you're trying to make this your full-time job. It's like, honestly, do this because it's dope and you want to make connections because if you do it for any other reason, if it's to get followers, if it's to get fame, you're going to be so miserable. And and I know that's like generic advice. I feel like everybody says that. But like if you don't get that, though, like you, you will be miserable. Like, yes. you're going to have to go through times where your shit is not making any numbers mm-hmm. and you're going to have to be content and keep going. You know what I mean? So, right. That is like a huge thing. I have a friend. I'm not going to I'm not going to shout him out. I don't want to embarrass okay. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anytime I talk to him, and I mean anytime, he's like, yeah. hey, I'm streaming on Twitch and I just, I, I got five viewers. I got five viewers. You want to come and make it six? Come and make it six. And it, and like, he's always talking about his followers yeah. and stuff like that. And he's like, listen, I've been streaming every day. I only got five viewers. I don't know what it is. And it's just like, it's because that's what you focus on. You're not focused on your content. You're not focused on making it better. You're not focused on being entertainment. You're not focusing on your niche. You focus in on followers and viewers. You be quiet in your stream. You don't be saying shit. You don't got no redemptions. You ain't got no nothing for people to interact with. Like, I know it sounds like I'm going in, but like. But that's what it is. It is what it is. He's he not trying to hear that, though. He's not trying to hear that. Uh-uh. That base like that list that you just r- rattled off is basic. Mm-hmm. Do that. Do that shit. Like have a bio. Have set up like a channel point to just ask a question. Do something that motherfuckers can push a button and make them feel like they're part of your stream. Right. Like that's that's honestly and talk that that right. thing right. You got to learn how to talk to yourself. Like 
Mm-hmm. Just do it. Just do like it. you just have to look like a maniac, and like the YouTubers do it all the time, right? They they're, they're mm-hmm. just in the middle of a video, just talking to themselves because they feel like okay, people will eventually watch this. I think that's what you gotta do with streaming. Yes, people will eventually come, even exactly. if they don't. Fuck it, I'll make clips. Yes, like you know what I mean. So, and the more, yeah. like you said, the more you focus on that number, especially while you're streaming. Yes, that shit is just gonna upset you if it doesn't move. <laughs> I no longer look at how many viewers I have. Like I check it maybe like once a stream, like mm-hmm. just to get like a temperature. But for the yeah. most part, I don't look at it because it's just like if it's low, it's gonna discourage me. If it's high, that's even that's also pressure because I'm like, oh shit, a lot of people watching. Let me turn it exactly. up. Exactly. You know <laughs> <laughs> when it should be like right, it should always be in the middle. Like, uh, okay, I'm doing uh, like I'm doing my thing. People watch me authentically. Like, I don't got to do too much or too little. You know what I mean? Right, right. Mm-hmm. That's uh, that's where I've gotten with it. Like, I used to be a number watcher, but especially now, I'm like, all right, these. This is what I'm going live. This is what I'm doing. And once I'm done, I'm done. And mm-hmm. I just don't look at the count. And you can tell, like, even if you have. Honestly, if you have 50 people in your stream and only three people are talking, yeah. like that's like that's it. Like those three people are the ones you're interacting with. It doesn't matter about that other 47. Yeah, exactly. Thanks for the lurks, but like you gotta whoever is interacting and being direct with you, that's who you need to focus on. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Agreed. Dope. That's cut and dry. Like I know yet, like you said, it's like worn advice, but mm-hmm. I feel like number one is that. Like, what's your reason? And if it's if you know you're getting in this to follow numbers, mm-hmm. no, then you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> you're gonna have a bad time. And honestly, you have to network. Net- networking is hard, especially when you yes. find your little friend group yep. and you get comfortable. Mm-hmm. Reaching out to other people seems scary. In the beginning, it wasn't scary for me. I just reached out to anybody. I'd be like, hey, I see you make YouTube videos. Like, what's up? That's how I met two people in the OnlyFans, DJ and Ja. Oh, That's how dope. I, met them. I literally what? just like saw them create. Content. I was like, they black. Like, what's up? How are you? Blah blah blah. <laughs> I see you create content. You're dope. Let's be friends and stuff. Yeah. That's how I came. I didn't do no oh follow for follow. I was just like, That's do I look crazy? Like that I worked. Swear to God. Yeah, it worked. It works. I mean, obviously. I like, <laughs> right. <laughs> no, but it, it, it's all about the way you did it. It's the it's the way in which I came to them. Like I didn't do like, hey, follow me and I'll follow you. You mm-hmm. know, it was mm-hmm. like, let's be friends authentically. And I meant that. I meant like let's actually be friends. And if you ever have a YouTube video that you know you need people on, I'm here. Like, and we collaborated. Gosh, when was that video? I could I could tell you right now because I got my yeah. YouTube channel open. We collaborated on a video and it was like years ago. That's wild. Right. It literally, we've known each other at this point from me reaching out to them for at least three years. That's Mm -hmm. awesome. Right. Hell yeah. Let me see when this is. Okay. Here it is right here. Three years ago, we played mm-hmm. Resident Evil Resistance. Remember when that was a thing? Oh, God. <laughs> it was me, DJ Ja, and our friend Nell, who also makes YouTube videos now. She That's found her niche in anime. Yeah. yeah. So three years ago, I reached out to them, collab, and we're still friends to this day. That's dope. See, it's possible. Mm-hmm. It really Damn, is. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah I, uh, I don't know how I met my streamer. Like, honestly, I was just trying to think about it. I'm like, how did I meet Boss? probably through a stream mm-hmm. Vox, my homie Vox like he came to one of my streams it was just like only person in the stream talking hey this game looks creepy it is creepy I freak out he was freaking out I'm like oh we friends now like, Aww. <laughs> I love that it's a uh, like again when that shit happens is it's great it feels right. good and then you have people in your community who are genuinely interested in you and generally genuinely want to know you, right? Yes. And yeah. when you guys develop that sort of relationship, it's done. Like, yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? We're all good friends now. We're like this, son. Like, it's like, <laughs> it, 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 it really, I have people like that that I'm less like, nah, I fuck with this person. So yeah, like, right? they don't go with exactly. that. <laughs> that's, the, that's crazy. And if you would have asked me just like 10 years ago, I'd have been like, nah, you can't make people right. on the internet that shit's weird absolutely and now like that's my wife i don't wonder if she remembers how like against online dating i was oh wow oh, you can't beat motherfuckers on the internet i feel that my bad my bad i was talking old man shit but she wasn't lying <laughs> because i think for, i think back in the day it was a little harder yeah like, is, you know what I mean? is, you know what i'm gonna say yes to that and so i can have a little piece of rightness 
<laughs> right. <laughs> well, well, because now it's easy to fact check. You know, if you were Instagram oh, detective true. like moi, you true. can find out if somebody. Yeah. Did. You know what I'm saying? That but is then, true. Yeah. You can leave catfish on them and figure it yeah, out. Yeah. Like, oh, wow. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You said you didn't have any kids. What's this, motherfucker? Oh. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Found you. Yeah. Like. See, okay. Maybe it's a little harder for, for the those fakies out there to do their shit now. All right. Absolutely. That makes sense. Absolutely. That makes sense. All right, Gamma. Well, we have reached the end of the podcast, and I'm going to ask you the question I've asked everyone because mm -hmm. we need to get better about shouting out our own content. Where can the people find your content? Where do you want them to see your wares and all that fun stuff? Well, I do be streaming on Twitch. At, like I said, I'm the Wiz Gamma on Twitch. I'm also the Wiz Gamma on YouTube. Do I be uploading YouTube videos like that? Mind your business. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't, but I do plan on, I, I have been good about at least uploading reels. All right, That's been a thing I've been doing. So I'm getting back into that. So find me on YouTube at the Wiz Gamma. Um, find me on TikTok at the Wiz Gamma. That is also mm -hmm. a bag that I'm diving back into. Okay. Um, and if you want to see my art and see the things that I create and I draw, you could go to Gamma's Goods and very soon oh, there will be content on there as well. Yes. Also, should be selling stuff, so buy some stickers and whatnot. Yeah, buy some stickers or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dope. Uh, well, if you know anyone out there who is a creator or even is not a creator and loves to hear conversations between two creators, you should share this podcast with them, upload it and unfiltered. I'm on your podcast catcher of choice. I've made sure of that. Leave me a review. Let me know how we doing. And, uh, yeah, that's it, I guess. Share it and shit. <laughs> Share that shit. Stop playing. <laughs> Gamma, Gamma, thank you. This was super fun. I hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> I loved it. It was so it Hell was so yeah. great. It's therapeutic to talk about all the shit. Like, that's what I'm is. talking about. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. all this is staying in. Yeah, you heard that. Absolutely. Damn it. I don't know who I'm talking to. But, uh, <laughs> Whoever is listening, got Yeah. It. <laughs> Anyways, you know, as always, protect your mental, keep creating content, and I will talk to y'all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>